Dear Dad, People deem you as a fool. They label you, they judge you, and they have a huge opinion of you. The bigger the ego, the greater the opinion. But in the end, it is just that. A simple opinion, a distorted vision of you, a perception. Maybe no one knows you, and when I say knows you, knows your heart. I was always your sweetheart, your little one, your youngest. They say the youngest one gets more spoiled, and yes I did. I got spoiled by everyone, and with it came the guilt, the blame, and the jealousy, the envy. Growing up in this position is an opportunity to create distorted perceptions. The perception of being spoiled and isolated. What if being spoiled is not a choice of the receiver? It is a choice of the giver. If you, during your lifeline, decided that you were going to give extra love and attention to someone who you consider to be special, or for a choice of a better word, deserving enough of your love and attention, then why on earth did they suddenly become the receiving end of all negative feelings, thoughts, daggers and blame? What if the receiver of such love and attention is nothing more than a blessed spirit that deserves all the love and care you are showing them as pure love as all that is? It is like blaming a child for being a child and being the center of attention in an adult family. The child is just being a child. The attention is the adult's choice and perception. If a child's light is bright enough to catch the attention in love of another spirit, are they to be blamed for it? In the world that you live in, maybe that is how it is perceived. Because then comes the opinion, the judgments, and the misconceptions of the behavior. This is a dual-focused world. Competition, comparison, and measuring methods are constantly at play. Even those who say they are not in this vibration are normally on the other side of the same coin. To be the true self without judgment criticism, comparison and competition throughout life is a high achievement in itself. If you manage to cruise through it without touching these vibrations, perhaps you either have not experienced life on earth or you have not been experiencing humankind in true awakened awareness. Dear Dad, you are one of those people who keeps an eye on the ball. You keep your focus on what matters the most. You are strong outside, but soft inside. And I had the fortune to experience your softness, your care, your love. You were, and still are, the sweetest dad, the most loving one, and the most caring one. And I love you for all my loving experiences with you. Don't let any opinion, judgment, or perception of you from others, let you down. Remember, there is always someone, somewhere in the spiritual realm that is going to see you, accept you, and love you for who you are. I invite you to look at yourself in the mirror with my loving eyes, and I bet you will see a different person. Start seeing your true self, your true essence, there will come a time when vibrating in it is enough. Because you are enough, you have done enough, and you vibrate high enough. It is time to let it all dissolve, so you can start a new way of being, a new way of vibrating, and a new way of living. 
If the old world is not accepting you enough, the new one will, as we are multidimensional beings. We can choose the timelines we want to live and vibrate on. Eventually, others will see it in their own time and follow. Maybe that is not right here right now, but that does not mean you are not loved. It means they are trapped and they need more space to grow within themselves, to be able to see the light at the end of the tunnel. Belief is something that cannot be taught. It has to come from experience. In the journey of the tarot cards, you have taken the fool's leap of faith and done your journey all the way up to the Wheel of Fortune, which helps you complete a loop, a cycle in life. The Wheel of Fortune is a positive card, a change for the better. Now, if you see how the next part of the journey unfolds, you enable the integration of all the shadows that come with it. It starts with a hermit, going within and finding the light within the self, then the hanged man, changing perspective, turning the world upside down, then the death card, rebirth, transformation of the self, the internal, not the external, all the way up to the world, where you have now integrated all facets of yourself. Dear Dad, I hope you open up to this concept, allowing ease and grace to manifest in the second part of your journey. It is the most challenging part of the tarot journey, as the tarot is the journey of the fool. At this present moment, you have completed the first part. I wish you love, courage and resilience for the second part. See you at the world stage, where you will have achieved all your internal goals and shared it all with the world. A moment of total acceptance of the self and others. In the meantime, in love.